Um, what's the pleasure of the board? Mr. Chairman. Supervisor Miller. Uh, since I put this item on the uh, agenda, and I apologize, Mr. Cole, for my uh, less than clear description, but it is regarding how we handle discretionary funds that are left over in the supervisor's office at the end of the year. And my motion will be to move to end the practice of any supervisors being allowed to contribute to outside organizations with their year-end budget leftover funds. Mr. Supervisor Valadez. Mr. Chairman, um, I, I don't intend to second the motion. What I intend to do is offer a substitute motion. And, and here's why. I, I've been listening to the discussion and the, the most pressing one by, was by Mr. Hernandez. And he, I looked him straight in the eye and he said, you know what, I, have a, I may not agree with your donations, but I have a right to know about them. And you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right that you should have, that you have every right to know how every member of this board spends their office budget. This doesn't go far enough. This doesn't cover everything it should. So what I'm going to do is my, I move a substitute motion to direct staff to put together for public distribution a comprehensive report of all expenses of all five offices over the last two calendar years, uh, including personnel actions, uh, and going forward to do that on an annual basis. Uh, okay, let me ask you a question. You're saying that you want to have a report over the last two years and you want to do it into the future every year. Is that at the end of the year? When do you want to do that, Supervisor? The most appropriate point is that probably at the end of the fiscal year. Okay, fine. Very good. Mr. Chair. So we have a second? We have a second on the floor. Uh, discussion, Supervisor Miller. Mr. Chairman, I don't think this, uh, I, I agree, I think that's a great motion, and I think that's something that's very important to be able to provide this report to the people. Um, my only concern is that this practice of individual supervisors, this does not mean we as a county stop doing the donations that we get for grant funds, but as an individual supervisor office, and this was the situation in, in Prince Williams County, is that people perceive that you may be utilizing these donations, and I'm not saying you are, I'm just saying there's a perception there, that of impropriety and also, you know, individuals in the community or a, a candidate running against me, you, anyone on this board could say, you know, Supervisor Miller was allowed to give donations to all these charities in her, in her district, so she was able to gain an advantage. And I think that was a very valid point, and I think Prince William County did the right thing in voting to end the practice. Um, I, that's the whole reason I put this on the calendar today, was to end this practice, period. Mr. Chairman. Supervisor Carroll. Mr. Chairman, I, again, want to express the truth here. I'm not a person who gave any donations to any nonprofits out of my district budget, but I think Mr. Valadez is correct. And I suggest that all the transparency that we can provide should be provided. And it should also talk about the employees that we have and what they earn. For example, my office and the employees in my office have chosen to forego the 50 cent raise that was allowed. And I'm happy to report that today. I'm also happy to say that I've always given back the most money of any supervisor. I said that earlier. The bottom line is, uh, I'm happy to look at the transparency issues. But I want to remind you that when you take ideas from counties, uh, whether it's in Prince William County, uh, you have to realize there's six Republicans on this board and two Democrats. There's, there's a little bit of a, you know, a difference between Manassas and Tucson. So what I'm trying to say here is uh, let the games begin. I, I look forward to seeing who gets paid what and on a very public front. Uh, who got hired and why? 
and how many people have been let go or how many have quit and how many are coming back. What's the turnover of certain offices and how, how much of a return is that for the taxpayers' money? I'm happy to review it all and to put it all out there in the public. So I'm, I'm looking forward to supporting Mr. Valadez's motion and see how it, how it ends up. Mr. Chairman, one last comment. We did look at every other county in Arizona. As you know, this data is available on, on Arizona Open Books. Anyone can go look at it. We looked at every other county in Arizona. There were no supervisors that we could find that used their office budgets for discretionary donations to outside organizations. So that within Arizona, that is the practice. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I request a roll call vote. Very good. Okay, any other comments? If not, roll call, please. Supervisor Carroll. Aye. Supervisor Miller. No. Supervisor Valadez. Aye. Chair Yes. Aye. Motion carries. Good one. Okay, we're on to item six, delegation.